Hello guys, time ago I uploaded a video basically showing that um, I was able to uh, retrofit this, this USB and auxiliary input socket that comes from the, I think it's the E90 and I will give uh, further details and I will also include the, the part number used in, in the description below basically what, what i wanted was i have this original oem uh, bmw business cd which doesn't have uh, the proper output for a usb uh, nor it doesn't have a proper output for the auxiliary connection it doesn't have any any connection at the front and it doesn't have any connection at the back either uh, a workaround uh, and because i wanted to uh, listen to my uh, mp3 music that I have uh, in my pen drives what I did was I retrofitted this socket okay so uh, in order to connect the USB and be able to listen to my music uh, on my pen drives and I also able to if I have like Spotify for example and I have uh, my jacket uh, plug into the to the to my cell phone I can also use this input okay so uh, let me show you how it works basically you if you turn on your head unit uh, this is a fan this is radio okay so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my pen drive okay and then what this solution does it is it replaces the CD changer that is in the trunk and it will take the music from the pen drive instead. Okay, so basically what this what the brand of the MP3 interface I use is Yator. Basically what it does is I have different folders. And you can have like, I think it's like 100 files in that folder. Okay, so this is all coming from the MP3. And if I remove the MP3, then the music is gone and I can go to the radio. Okay, so this, this is pretty useful for me. I can have multiple multiple pen drives with a basically a selection of my music. Okay, and if I remove... Okay, so this is uh, basically how, how it works. Uh, if you press once, uh, it's going to go uh, to the USB and if if you press again it's going to uh, read the cd that you might have inside okay so then uh, you might be asking so while well, this mp3 interface does have an usb and a and, a, and an auxiliary for your audio right yes it does but if you if you don't want to have cables like uh, going through your glove box as many users have then you need to hide the device in behind your glove box and you can wire like an extension and I chose this one because it fits perfectly in my dashboard I mean it looks like uh, oh yeah nice retrofit there so this is going to be like an extension uh, for the USB entry that is on the device basically and also a nice feature is that you you can charge your phone in this case I have my my iPhone charger so you would plug this one up to the USB and there you have you can charge uh, your phone